Hello, and welcome to this series of Advanced Cluster Management for Kubernetes. My name is Jimmy Alvarez, and I'm a Principal Product Marketing Manager here at Red Hat. Today, we're going to go ahead and cover the installation and foundation. From an installation perspective, we require to have a fully configured, fully set up OpenShift container platform, version 4.3.5 or above. Once the OpenShift container platform is installed and set up, you can navigate to the operator hub and select the advanced cluster management for Kubernetes. Once the installation is complete, you can manage any OCP clusters from version 3.1.1 all the way to the latest. You can also manage any public cloud hosted OCP instances. We also provide limited support and manageability for public clouds like EKS, AKS, GKE, and IKS. We provide high availability leveraging the OCP availability zone. Here's also some resource requirements for a testing or a production environment. Please note that these numbers may vary depending on the number of clusters that the management solution has. Once installed, the managed cluster itself, there are some components that are deployed to it. You can see the list of those components here. From a role-based access control perspective, there is no specific roles or personas within ACM. We rely on the default roles included in OCP. Here you can see the four major roles, the cluster admin, admin, edit, or view. Please refer to the chart at the bottom to configure the proper access control. Now let's go ahead and dive into an installation demo. So here I am within my OpenShift environment and I'm gonna go ahead and install the advanced cluster management. You can either set it up within the recommended namespace or you can pick a new one if you wanted to. All you have to do is click subscribe. Once you click subscribe, the installation will begin. Let's navigate inside the advanced cluster management. You can see here that we will perform some basic conditions checks to make sure that all of the requirements within your OpenShift container platform is, are met. Next, we'll navigate to workloads, secrets, and we'll create an image pool secret. What this allows us to do is to make sure that whenever we are importing a new cluster within ACM, we're able to actually authenticate and download the container images that are needed in order to import that. We'll go ahead and paste the server URL address here. As you can see, this is all in the documentation for ACM. And verify that your credentials are valid by going to access.redhat.com and making sure that the credentials that you use to log in there, you put in here. We'll go ahead and click Create. And then we'll go ahead and navigate into our installing uh, operators and the multi-cluster operator. And we'll go ahead and assign that secret key to the image pool secret. That way, every single time that we go and import a cluster, we'll go ahead and pull from that key directly. And then we'll watch as this multi-cloud hoster will create is pods. This whole process doesn't take any longer than 15 to 20 minutes. It all depends on how fast your environment is pulling these images from Quay.io. You can see here some of the pods that are being created. This is sped up, so don't mind the uh, quickness here, but this we by the end of it, you should have about 34 to 35 running pods. If I go back to my install operators here, you can see my ACM is now completed. To get the URL for ACM, I want to navigate to networking, routes, and you'll see here the location of that URL. And just like that, I have installed advanced cluster management. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. For more, please visit our YouTube channel.